Today I built a great vibe marketing use case using a tool that I've never experimented with before and it took my workflow here to the next level and that's Claude Code. I installed Claude Code in my terminal and I started using it within Cursor and a few of the things that I realized were that Claude Code enabled me to execute what I wanted to build in a much more streamlined fashion without back and forth, without any bugs, and it basically one-shotted everything that I wanted it to do. When I tried to use Cursor Agent, I was even using Claude 4 Opus Max on there, and I still had a lot of back and forth. It seemed to get confused. Uh, I was getting frustrated. I wasn't really able to get my project over the finish line, and then Claude Code was a total game changer. So here's all the things that I accomplished with this project. I think it'll be easier to just show you, but basically the problem statement here is that nobody likes going into Google Analytics. It's confusing. It's hard to get the information that you need. I wanted to build a simple dashboard that enabled me to get key insights quickly. I wanted to be able to schedule automated reports to whomever I wanted to and have a beautifully formatted HTML email. And the third thing is I wanted to be able to chat with my data and understand exactly what was happening on certain dates with natural language. I was able to build that in about two or three hours and I think this will save my team a ton of time. It could save your team a ton of time. I think this could actually be a standalone product in and of itself. Remember by trade, I'm not a developer. I feel like I'm getting there now though uh, with Claude Code. So let me show you what I was able to turn around uh, today. Um, so this is my analytics dashboard uh, that I built uh, in cursor with Claude code. Uh, you'll see that I have a full date selection system. I've got quick ranges, extended ranges, different periods. I've got a custom range selected here for example purposes uh, to look at uh, March. Um, I can export or send reports from right here. And uh, you can see an overview of my data. This is real data. I've verified that this is real data. There are no hallucinations or anything like that happening. It's pulling directly from my Google Analytics account. I set up an API integration that gets this for me. It's got very nicely formatted uh, trend uh, charts here that show me my day-to-day -day activity as well. One of the coolest things that I built here is the ability to ask questions in natural language about my data. So uh, let's just say how much traffic did my website get on March 17th, 2025. So I hit enter and boom, there you go. One prompt and you know exactly uh, what your metrics looked like in Google Analytics that day without having to go and log in and dig around for reports or build something out there. Um, I think it's incredible. Like the ability to just quickly ask questions and get responses is great. Now, uh, this is just the overview page. Uh, let's go through a few of the other reports that I was able to build. I mean, if you're an agency, a consultant, a freelancer, if you're a marketing lead at a company, I'm sure that you know manually wrangling data is a pain and you get asked questions all the time around, hey, what happened on this day? How's our traffic looking? How are conversions? How are sales? This solves that problem for you. And the cool thing is, is that you don't need to go and find a SaaS tool to subscribe to and rack up more monthly billings, you can build this on your own, you can customize it for your use case or for your team's use case, and, and, and you have a fully functioning solution or workflow uh, right here in front of you. The other beautiful thing about this is that I don't need to go and tinker around and innate in to try to get this working and, and facing errors at different nodes or whatever, Claude Code, was able to move through this in such a logical and streamlined fashion where Cursor Agent was failing. Um, so I'm going to pretty much be using Claude Code exclusively within Cursor for building out my workflows, my tools, and my different automations. 
So here we've got a traffic sources report. Could improve the formatting here, obviously. Uh, if I wanna know my top pages uh, during that month, we've got that here. I can see you know, where people navigated to on my website, uh, which pages had the highest distribution of traffic. Let's say I wanna understand more about the audience that visited my website. Uh, here we go, we've got full insights on user behavior, top countries, geographic breakdowns, demographics, et cetera. And then I've even got uh, conversion reports that are based on the goals and the different conversions that I have set up within my Google Analytics account. So uh, you can see that here, uh, different events uh, that are being tracked within Google Analytics are being displayed here for easy access. So I think this is uh, fantastic stuff, even have a device breakdown. So anything available within Google Analytics, you can pull into a tool or a dashboard like this. Now let me show you a really cool feature that I added uh, onto this that I think is a great closed loop uh, time saver for people. They don't need to come and log into another tool. You can simply schedule reports. So let's say that you add your boss uh, or your client or something like that here. Uh, you enter the email recipients. You can configure uh, the schedule of when these are sent out. And uh, let me show you what it looks like. So it, it formatted a beautiful email here that can be sent out on autopilot. I'm using the SendGrid API here to, hand, uh, to handle the and manage the, the email sending. So um, here you go, uh, it's, got, it's got the data. Uh, this is a different date than uh, what I selected initially. So you know I would go and, and fix that uh, before I deploy this to the team or, or whatever uh, my use case is. So uh, great stuff. Uh, check out Claude Code. I think it's incredible. It's allowed me to do things that I've struggled with uh, in other tools, um, you know, other vibe coding platforms, and even just within Cursor Agent. Um, so my favorite step, you know, you kind of get lost in the prompts a little bit, uh, especially, you know, when you're non-technical, I guess, like me. So I always tell uh, my tool to, hey, do a retro summary of everything that we accomplished uh, today. And just the amount of work I was able to get done here with Claude Code was incredible. And uh, here I even have a breakdown of what Claude Code enabled me to do versus Cursor Agent. Um, so, you know, on the first attempt, Cursor Agent kind of failed. Uh, we leveled up the design, we implemented advanced features like the scheduling functionality. Um, robust error handling, scalable architecture, it's got security best practices uh, already implemented, uh, comprehensive problem solving, uh, and then, you know, uh, it's just like having a developer like that you're working with back and forth. Great experience. Definitely check it out. Uh, you can build pretty much any workflow with Claude Code into a tool. Uh, that you can use. And again, this is way easier in my opinion than going and setting up a node-based architecture. I hope this helps you and opens your eyes to the possibility of integrating Claude Code into Cursor and shows you that you can build full-on you know, internal tools, even production-ready products with a few other tweaks if you want to. So I uh, hope you have a great Friday and enjoy the weekend.